trying to save somebody and then failing is a terrible feeling. And it is, in fact, the feeling that Joel finds himself soaking in now every day because he's panicked that it's going to happen to him again. He can handle being shot at. He can handle being punched, kicked. What he cannot possibly fathom is going through the experience of losing his child again. And that's what Ellie is becoming to him. Ellie doesn't make relationships easily, mainly because the relationships she has built have been cruelly taken away from her. That's where Joel and her are the same. What's incredible was to be able to explore things that I think are very much a part of the experience of the game, but you can expand on. You're not gonna scare us. Scared him? One of those things is the internal life of these characters. With the show, there was this addition of like, he's having a physical reaction to that. He can't breathe, his chest hurts. It's a combination of his age, but also all the events that have just happened. Are you dying? And his connection to Ellie. He's just so scared. And Ellie doesn't quite understand what's happening with him. Joel just feels like he needs to save everyone around him. Joel has this goal where he thinks he needs to go save his brother. And then he arrives in Jackson. Not only does he not need to save his brother, his brother is thriving. This place actually fucking works. When we were in Canmore filming, just the little town of Jackson, I was just like, there's a the bank, there's a the studio, lights! I was like, they got everything, they got all we need. It just makes my job easier, because I could just really come on to set and be. Imagine going to a town and being able to put in like a half acre stables with sheep and horses and cows and all of that stuff. My favorite part of that was building the paddock and the stables and everything in the parking lot right in the middle of town. Hey, Joel, check it. <laughs> when we go into these places, we're not doing anything small. We spend quite a bit of time there. And if there's one business on a street that we want to film on that doesn't want to play ball, we're out of luck. Fortunately, we've had everyone accommodate us everywhere we went. Jackson, it's this beautiful community. It's the closest some group has come to the world that we know, the world that we live in, that they could watch movies, that they could celebrate Christmas. Um, I'm sorry about your kids. It's OK. I'm kid, just Kevin. Sarah was Joel's daughter. There's this beautiful moment where Joel stumbles outside and he thinks he sees his daughter. We love the idea that for a moment he would think, just for a moment, and then he would see her with her daughter and he would think, that's what I would have. We always try to keep her spirit in, in the scene. I think it's always a ghost in the room between Joel and Tommy. I'm failing in my sleep. It's all I do. It's all I've ever done. It's failing. Anybody who's like grieving or who I think who've lost a child, everybody goes through that path differently. With Maria, I think she poured into the people because that's what she had. And I think Joel kind of just imploded. Like I just feel like he just went into himself. But it is different to see how Maria and Joel both handle those losses very, 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 very differently. I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. And that scene is perhaps the most famous scene from the game. We did it almost exactly. We changed a few things here and there. The general execution of it was something that I thought was important we stick to exactly. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Everybody fucking except for you! Me and Pedro, both of us really felt the pressure of that. And when you feel too pressured in, in something, when you've created that for yourself, it can be hard to perform how you want to. Yeah, no, I had sleepless nights over that scene. I didn't envy them, so trying to like do a scene that like exists in the game and is like seared into people's mind, and they made it their own, and it's just as beautiful. Ellie admits she's afraid and that he makes her less afraid. And what Joel doesn't know how to tell her is she makes him Joel. more afraid that when you care about something or someone, that's when the fear happens. Joel? Joel, no, 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 shit! Ellie's biggest fear is definitely ending up alone. Joel, open your eyes. Open your eyes. I can't fucking. 